as I was recording this video, I was constantly uh, referring to a program's name as VGLANCE, and I realized that it's probably called Vigilance, so I apologize for the mix-up. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a classic show desktop button to the Windows 7 taskbar. Windows 7 has a show desktop button in, on the right hand of of the bar, but I'm going to show you how to add a an icon next to the start menu. As was in Windows Vista and Windows XP when the um, quick launch menu was visible. Now I'm not actually using Windows 7, I'm using Windows Vista with a Windows 7 theme. I have an application called vglance. Uh, vglance takes uh, modifies the Vista taskbar to function more like Windows 7. Uh, a couple noticeable differences are the icons aren't lined up um, in two rows like they would be on 7, and clicking on the arrow button does not bring up a, a little window displaying the hidden icons. Instead, it just slides over like the classic Vista in XP. Um, the other difference is that the uh, Show Desktop button that you see here is actually just part of the Windows 7 theme. It doesn't actually do anything. So the first thing we need to do is create a script that launches uh, ad, uh, launches uh, ad, 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 the show desktop action or the toggle desktop action. So I'm going to create this script in the Windows directory so that it can be easily accessed from the command line. So I'm just going to create a new text document here. And I'm going to call it show desktop. And the file extension needs to be scf. And then we can edit that. Uh, the first group in brackets needs to be called shell. And under shell, we will have a key called command. And the value of command needs to be 2. Optionally, we can have um, a key called icon file, in case just if we want to have a special icon for the script. And I'm just going to give it the default icon uh, for, the, for the show desktop action. And the second group needs to be called taskbar. I don't think um, um, it matters if it's uppercase or lowercase. And we need to do, uh, have another key called command. The value of this needs to be toggle desktop. We save that. And if I did that correctly, we can double click on show desktop, SCF, and it works. And I'll refresh this so it shows that icon. There it is. Okay, now um, the next thing we need to do is pin something to the taskbar. And it doesn't matter what, we can pin anything down there. So I'm just going to pin Notepad. Close it is pinned on there. Now, um, Windows 7, uh, from what I understand, this is pretty simple. I, have, I haven't actually done it in Windows, Windows 7. But from the tutorials that I've seen, uh, all you should need to do is right-click on this newly pinned item, and there should be an option called Properties, and you'll click Properties, and I believe that it will show. Um, and I believe that it will show uh, just a, pr a regular Properties dialog, just like y it would for a shortcut, and then you just change the target from uh, Notepad to to uh, show desktop.scf. So on this one it would be C Windows show desktop.scf. And then you just hit OK and that should be all that you need to do. It'll automatically change it to that um, that script. You may need to change the icon, not sure. But uh, for anybody using vglance, there's a couple more steps that we have to do in order to get this to work right, since we cannot edit the properties of of uh, 
of um, pinned items directly from the desktop. So, and um, vGlance doesn't accept these uh, script files uh, as pinned items. So we need to create an actual executable that it will accept. Um, so first thing, so the next thing we're going to do is create a batch, a batch script or a batch file. So I'll create a new Notepad doc or a new uh, yeah a new text document, and we'll call it show desktop and file extension bat for batch file. Refresh this so they get all lined up. Okay, now let's edit that batch file, and we want this batch file to uh, launch simply launch that uh, that script. So it would be show desktop dot scf. Now, if you're um, if the script is not in the Windows directory or somewhere else on the system path, then you need to tell the script exactly where it's where it's located. So, if it was on your desktop, you'd have to put c users your username desktop show desktop .scf. But since we're in the uh, Windows directory, all we need to put is show desktop .scf hit save and then we should be able to double click that and it will launch that script and it works the only issue here is that because this is a batch file it's it's going to want to bring up um, a, um, a, a command prompt, prompt screen every time you click on it so you're going to get that black screen every time so how we can uh, get past that is uh, compile this batch file into an actual Windows native executable and there's a tool you can get called uh, bat exe converter and I'm going to use that so we will select where our batch file is and it should automatically put in the output file as show desktop.exe right in the Windows directory where we want it and we want to change visibility to invisible application that's what will suppress that that black window popping up uh, optionally under version informations you can select an icon file if you want the executable to have an icon I have one uh, ready on my desktop so I'm just going to go ahead and add it and then just hit compile it shouldn't take too long to compile pretty small batch file and there you have it, show desktop.exe. So if we hit that, it should launch that, that script. And there it is, it works. Now we can get rid of the uh, batch file because we won't need that anymore. Okay, so now we need to tell um, vGlance uh, where this, uh, where this executable is. So we've already pinned something to the taskbar, our notepad that we did earlier, and uh, vGlance has added that to its settings, so now we just need to change its settings to point to uh, the, show, the exe file. So we need to turn off vGlance, so uh, from your, from your um, menu down there, from the icon, just right click and hit exit and it should shut off right away. Now, to get to the settings for vGlance, we need to go into the user's application data directory. Um, you can use the environmental variable app data, and it will take you right there. And it is in a folder called vGlance, and it's this file right here, here called Options INI. And we have three items pinned to the taskbar, this first item is my web browser which I had pinned earlier and the second one is my uh, uh, explorer alternative and the third item is our newly pinned item notepad so all we need to do here is change notepad to the path of where our show desktop exe is so show desktop exe and uh, hit save now I've tried before I tried um, just going in and adding this all manually instead of instead of pinning something first I just came in and, and added this this last item uh, but that didn't work 
So my thoughts are is that when you when you pin an item with V glance, it um, it also sets a registry key value that it looks for. So it uses this um, this options file in conjunction with that registry key. So it is necessary to actually pin an item from the desktop to be able to to edit to edit this to get it to work right. So we've saved it and and now we can start a uh, vglance back up and it should have changed the notepad icon to our show desktop icon and there it is a third item right there the notepad has changed to it and uh, if we hit it it should show our desktop it works perfectly we can move it around to wherever we want it and that's it